Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Rhodes, the nurse practitioner, and I'm here to show you how to use a Hoyer lift. Now a Hoyer lift is an object, it's kind of big. Um, it works for people who cannot stand or cannot transfer without some sort of assistance of more than, with, with just one person. Otherwise, people need a lot of people to move people from a bed to a chair. So it makes you very independent as a caregiver once you have a Hoyer lift. And you can move people as little as 100 pounds up to like 400 pounds with a Hoyer lift into a chair, either a chair or a wheelchair, from the bed to the, to the wheelchair and vice versa. So it's very versatile and it's something to have in the home if the person cannot stand. So I have my lovely assistant here in bed waiting to give, give us a hand here and show us with the Hoyer lift how to use it. And the first thing I want to tell you to do is wash your hands. Before you go near the patient, wash your hands with soap and water, front and back, use a little um, soapy hot water, rinse, and then just dry them well. And always make sure to talk to the person and tell them what you're gonna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, raise the bed up because you don't wanna hurt your back. And your bed should be up to like your waist so that you're not bending over the person. And make sure the side rails are up so they don't fall out of the bed while you're doing that. Um, most beds have a remote. This is a hospital bed, so if you don't have one and you need one for mom or dad, you should just go ahead and get one from your doctor's order. So hit the middle button, takes us all the way up. We're just cranking along here. Crank, crank, crank. <laughs> Some beds make more music than this. <laughs> Okay, that's perfect. And what I'm going to do is get the sling and I'm going to show you what a Hoyer lift looks like. So this is the sling. They come in all different sizes depending on your weight. There's a top part and there's a bottom part and it has straps on it. And I'll show you what you do with the straps in a minute. Um, they also have some that have a hole in it. So if the person wants to go on a commode, you could put them on the sling. You center the hole under the person without a diaper and they can be transported right onto a commode to use it, which makes people go to the bathroom a lot easier. So it's something to look into. There's an also another sling, type of sling that's just one strip and it goes under the legs and it slings them from the top and the bottom and actually is another device for the um, commode. So when you order a Hoyer lift and if you need that kind of device, ask the company for a, um, um, a sling with a hole in it so that you can actually use it on the commode. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is tell my lovely assistant Julia here if she could roll over a little bit to the side, bend your knee, if your person can't help you, and help her hold on to the railing. Now she knows what to do, so she's really cooperative. But you got to talk to people and take them every step of the way. And um, some people are afraid of these Hoyer lifts, but once they're on them, um, they find out that it's not so bad after all. It's like being on a, I don't know, a swing chair for a few minutes. So what you're gonna do is take this sling, like you would a chuck or anything under the bed, and gently curl and roll it under the bed. Center it under her body, so that there's some under her neck area for support. And then of course the lower part of the body, like that. If you need to, you know, let the railing down, you can, just so you can work better. I could do without, but I'm just gonna show you that. Okay, Julia, come on back. And then I'm gonna go on the other side and you kind of center this again, make sure it's working okay. Because you don't want somebody up on a sling and it tips them over. That would not be good. So I'm just gonna to go to the other side and Julia's gonna roll over again, nice and slow. And we're just gonna pull that sling back. All right, good job. You can come right back. All right, good. So I'm gonna show you what a Hoyer lift looks like. It's coming around the corner now. They come in all shapes and sizes, but they all have the same properties of doing the same thing. Uh, they've been around for a while. Um, I don't know how many years, but I've been using them for at least 15, 20 years <laughs> that I can recall. So they're really a good device to have. You don't want them when the person first comes home if they're walking, of course, but if they need more help as time goes on, you progress to getting a Hoyer lift. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the lift up to the top. What it has is wheels on the bottom under, that go under the bed, and it has a handle that's down near the floor that actually will open up and um, 
make the legs come apart come apart to give it more steadiness. So I just want to show you some of the parts of this Hoyer lift. Um, it's really hard to see this little knob here, but this is a little black lever. And if you go counterclockwise, it actually lowers the top part of the, of the whole Hoyer lift apparatus. And if you go towards you, which is clockwise, it locks it. So at any time you feel uns you know, unsafe, just, just pull it closed and stop the Hoyer device from going down. This lever here is for cranking. This is what raises the sling off the bed, and the knob then is pushed, and it lowers it again. Okay, and then this other crank we showed you before is open the legs at the bottom. But as you can see, there is this crank on the bottom here, and all you do is open it up, make a full semicircle open, and you can see the legs take effect underneath the bed and start to give it stability. If you keep the legs together um, when you're taking the person out of bed, it can kind of be unsteady. So don't do that. Make sure it's widened on the base. And there's also locks on the wheels. So you can lock this so you're not feeling insecure while you're getting them ready. Okay, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit this little black knob here. And it's like a little lever and it's going to slowly lower, as you can see, the top part of the Hoyer. The bed is up. We've got the Hoyer lift under, underneath. You're going to pick the same color loop. Um, we're going to put it on the blue loop on the back strap here. And you can even do the other side while you're here. You can do green or whatever color you pick, depending on how you want it to go. But we're going to put on the purple, which is higher up. And the other side will do the same colors. The bottom was a purple, so make sure you use the same color. All right, this was a purple, and then the top one was a blue. So let's make sure we put it on the blue. We want to make sure we put our hands across her chest and make sure her body parts are in a good spot and safe so that nothing gets hurt. People do get hurt in these if they, you know, get their feet caught, so be careful. Okay, now the bed is still up and you're not gonna get this sling off the bed until you lower the bed again. So she's nice and secure. We got this thing ready to go. It's cranked open. And we're gonna lower the bed just to get it down low enough to get the sling up. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. This is so good. <laughs> Can't go too low because I will tell you what happens is the the railing might get caught underneath this, okay? So once you're ready, remember the little black knob is towards you, and you're gonna just gently crank her up. Watch that her body parts are all in, that she's nice and secure. Keep going. And as you can see, she comes off the bed pretty good. You may have to open the crank a little bit more to get a little more stability work with it. And once she's off the bed, just kind of take the sling with you and tell the person that you're just going to be moving them off the bed over to the wheelchair. Just like that. Are you comfortable, Julia? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to, we've locked our wheelchair wheels so that the wheelchair doesn't go flying, which is very important. You don't want anybody to get hurt. And I'm um, coming across the room with the sling and the wire. You may, you know, sometimes if you have two people, it's good to have two to help you. But if you don't, work with what you have. Just kind of go slow. The wire lift is coming through. And make sure the legs are open just for stability again. You may have to take your leg rests off the chair so that you can get around it. And if you have another person to help you, it's really a great idea to have them because when you get over to the chair, I'm having a little trouble on this floor, but when you get over to the chair, you want to have the person sit nice and upright. And you might have to adjust this chair a little bit more like that. It's better to get behind the chair or close enough and push her all the way back and then you're going to gently push that little black knob. And look at how nice and easily she came down off of the chair, off of the uh, wire. Okay, what you do then is take the sling off. 
and the person stays on the sling until you're ready for them to go back in bed. And when you're ready for them to go back in bed, you go right back and you do it totally opposite. We'll take those, the Hoyer left away. Make sure she's nice and secure. She looks great in that chair. And you again would just go back and bring the Hoyer left back. Put the loops on, crank it up, and reverse and go right back into bed.